Hello, this is Sean with another quick hit. Uh, now I'm going through the Avatar series. I'm about to work on an anime series and I'm brushing up. So I'm going through Avatar and I found this perfect example uh, for a dialogue example of the betrayer. Now, as we know, dialogue actually does two things. One is it shows what the character wants us to think. It is the conscious part of dialogue uh, where they are uh, forging the words to tell us about them. But there are also another aspect of well-written dialogue, which is the unconscious, which tells us what they actually are like. Uh, John York calls this the betrayer uh, because it's against our own will uh, showing what we're like. I just found a, a perfect example of that uh, in this series. Tells that fortune telling is just a big stupid hoax. You're just saying that because you're going to make yourself unhappy your whole life. That woman is crazy. My life will be calm and happy and joyful. Ow! That doesn't prove anything. Well, I liked my All right, so a uh, very obvious, on-the-nose example of the betrayer uh, character saying one thing, trying to portray themselves as one thing, while their words are actually uh, revealing subconsciously, uh, subtextually revealing who they really are. A lot of great examples. I think uh, anime uh, is, is very open to this idea of being very on-the-nose uh, with this particular paradox of dialogue. Um, and yeah, it's just kind of fun. Uh, so this has been another quick hit.